the React team announced at React 2025 that React is becoming a foundation. And that's great news for the React community, but what does it mean for React devs like us? Is it good news? Is it bad? Let's get into it. So long story short, I think this is excellent news for your average React developer for three key reasons. First, the React Foundation ensures React's financial future for years to come. We're talking a multi-million dollar annual commitments from major tech companies like Meta, Microsoft, and others, which means full-time developers getting paid for work on React to keep it innovating, to keep it maintained. And that's huge for you because now you know that your React skills will last. We all knew React was popular, but even popular things fail if they're mismanaged or they're abandoned. But with a foundation backing, React's future is more guaranteed than probably any other modern framework. You no longer have to worry about whether Meta is going to go through layoffs and the React team is going to get caught in the crossfire on that. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. It's set in stone now and guaranteed. Second, let's talk about governance because there's always been this concern and sometimes like fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and FUD, sometimes legitimate, that Meta might drive React in a way that the community doesn't want. Think about React server components. Now, personally, I'm a fan of those, but a big part of the React community thought RSCs were moving away from React's spa roots. And whether you agree with that or not, the point is that it felt to some like things were being done to the community rather than with the community. With the React Foundation, governance now moves from meta alone to the broader model of the community where we have real input on React's directions. Major decisions are going to be more transparent and more collaborative. And I think this has been a long time in coming, and I'm really genuinely excited about it. And finally, React is going full open source through the foundation, including React Native. And that's a huge deal. It's always been a sticking point that the source of truth for React Native is within Meta's internal code base, not the open source version. And with this, that's now changing. Both React and React Native, we fully open source, fully transparent. No more surprises. You'll be able to see all the in-flight PRs and the branches and all the discussions happening. No more issues with internal suspense changes and whether children are rendered serially or in parallel, which ended up stalling the React release for like months. And that's because the community only found out about it after the fact. All that's going to be clearly visible and open for public input and fully open source. I love it. And speaking of open source, I'm really hopeful that the foundation is going to support financially ecosystem projects that are really critical as part of its mandate. React's broader ecosystem has been a huge part of its success. The tooling, the libraries, the community contributions. I'd love to see the foundation really recognize that and support that. All in all, the React Foundation is a huge positive step forward, not just for the community more broadly, but for you and me as React developers. Where we once had to wonder about React's future and its direction, now its funding is secured and we'll have the visibility and input into where it's going. And here's what really excites me. The foundation addresses existential questions that have been hanging over React for years, questions about control and funding and directions, and they're answered now, which means we honestly might be looking at the beginning of a whole second era of React with stable funding, open governance, and true community input. I think React can evolve and innovate in ways that I don't think it could have before, and that is a huge win. Got to tell you, though, as much as we need the React Foundation, the React Foundation needs us to support it in order to be successful. So I hope that you positively engage with the React Foundation and help support it in all of its efforts. I'm really excited about it, and I hope you are, too. All right, if you have any questions or comments, I'll try my best to answer them in the comment section right down below. In the meantime, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell. You'll be notified the next time a new blue-collar coder comes out.